hello 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 beautiful this is okiba anahata ra yeah listening to some of that jazz <laughs> some of that clifford brown and max roach right there clifford brown i told y'all before that clifford brown is one of my favorites one of my favorites this would be considered hard bop right here hard bop not bebop but hard bop right. <laughs> it was a uh, um, it came after bebop it was a turn back to the classic to some of the traditions of jazz after those who came up with the with the, with the bebop that bebop <laughs> it, it, it was different and actually a lot of the artists I don't want to say a whole lot of them but some but some of the ones who were at the top of their game in the um, bebop genre of jazz a lot of them were like really into some heavy drug usage like Charlie Parker you know really into some heavy drug uses and that was a part of you know getting into that whole set in the things that they did but it's it's it was it was nice the bebop that came about um it came about really because the different musicians who used to play for the big bands the big jazz bands they would get together in the clubs after the sets and they would just start freestyling you know kind of like the way hip-hop got started the, the they they would get together and they would just be freestyling doing their own thing which is why which is what's classic about the or the the classic form of of a bebop you know it, it became it was like you know rap battles in a sense you know like rap battles you freestyling and you know you going right off the dome and that's what they were doing this was the time of the virtuoso they called it because prior to that jazz was playing in a band it came up out of the those bands those big bands those big orchestras and such it was um it, it filtered from that idea typically jazz wasn't played as a solo thing you know now you could get an artist who's just playing a, a saxophone or whatever saxophone just kind of took over the whole jazz, jazz genre and kind of moved it to a smooth jazz cool jazz it's, it's all right it's not that's not you know i could listen to it, it it's moved into a background kind of music jazz was never a background music back in the day it was kind of like the way most african-american music is to the, um up until today which was it's music that's gonna get you moving you know when you feel it, it it really makes you feel something it's not background music but now it has moved into that stage you know we call it classic um jazz one of my teachers my professor said hey jazz is america's classical music and i'll say i say to that i could talk a little bit more about that another time but this wasn't what I was getting off on. <laughs> I'm just talking about that a little bit. Um, I, I like to talk about jazz sometimes. I'm, I'm still a baby in it, you know. I, I like what I like. I don't like what I don't particularly like, you know what I mean? But I'm kind of a baby in the jazz thing. Um, but I sometimes like to talk about it. But anyway, I put this on because I want to feel something. And I want to feel some of that music. I want to hear that trumpet. Those trumpets remind me of... Of, of, a, of a powerful thing you know they talk about the trumpets blowing in the bible and we hear when we talk about the, the speech of a godly speech we talking about trumpets play and then the angels come you know what i mean so those trumpets i love trumpets i i, I learned to love trumpets and the sound even when they sound really smooth when they sound really smooth i like went to marcellus as well um you know um but anyway just on the last thing on the on the jazz thing check out this is clifford brown right here check out clifford brown with strings if you're not a big jazz person but you want to kind of hear you want to hear something that that sounds real nice and smooth for as jazz check out clifford brown with strings that's like one of my favorite jazz albums of all time right there right there clifford brown he wasn't one of those artists that was getting all into the drug game and his his career was very short he died very young but he was he left a major mark and so i love his music and what i was saying here i put on this 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 i put on this his music right here because it made me feel something you know you want to get into that energy that energy of it and i love it i love it if you want to change something you change what you're thinking about change what you're listening to change what you're looking at you know that's what we have to do i you hear people complain it's a lot of stuff that's happening in our world Ooh. 
It's a lot of stuff that's happening in the world around us. But you don't have to particularly partake in it. I said you don't have to. This is a big planet. It is a very big planet. And we are not all experiencing the same thing, I say. We are not. We're not experiencing it. You have high, high heaven, seventh heaven, and you have people experiencing the lowest seventh hell on this planet, I say. You know what I mean? So where are you in between that? That's really what matters. And where you are has a lot to do with here. Not so much about here, what you're looking around about, about what's right here. Because where the mind is, so shall the the body shall follow soon, right? Things move a little slowly in this dimension, in this third dimensional space as we even are moving and evolving to another space. Things still move a little slower than the thought process, but it still comes to pass, especially if a thought is focused. If you focus that thought, if you want a new thing, focus your thought on a new thing. Look at some different things. Listen to music that lifts you. That's why, you know, I was telling my husband, I like, look, I like R&B. I grew up with R&B. I love my, my music and stuff, but I can't listen to that stuff all the time. I, I really, I rarely listen to it unless it's something very uplifting or very positive. Why? Because a lot of the stuff is either, either depressing or it's sexual. Always think, it always got you thinking about sex or it's, it's thinking about very materialistic things. It, 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 it just can't roll with it it's you know it's it comes up out of that blues and i know we had a lot of blues <laughs> we had a lot of blues you know but it still carries on a lot of that that lower root chakra issue stuff you know what i mean and i'm like i'm wanting to move past that i, I don't want to be vibrating there on those emotions all the time i want let's take this thing higher let's take this thing higher so we're going to listen to some lively music we're going to listen to some upbeat thing give me some drum the, of course the jazz we know comes up out of the same form of music but it, it takes a different spin depending on what type you're listening to and this right here you know my um my my clifford brown right here yeah that's upbeat and i love it it makes me feel it makes me feel good put on some feel good music for you so you can have a different thought watch some different shows instead of all of this drama that gets you caught up and thinking getting upset i used to listen to i used to listen to talk radio back in the day man that stuff would have me so annoyed. I'd be just like, what? I'd be in there yelling at the radio. <laughs> Raise your hand. You know what I'm talking about? Being there, I'm driving in a car. Man, oh my goodness, I can't believe you just said that. Be yelling at the radio or whatever. I'd be like, I'm going to call in. I need to call in there. You know, getting all upset about what these people talking about. You getting wrapped up in that world. And then after leaving that stuff, going and being with my children. And I'm still in this emotional, tense place. Because it's taking me a minute to get calm and relax. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They don't deserve that drama and neither does my being in my body. It don't deserve that kind of drama. And I'm not putting myself through it. I'm going to think a new thought. I'm going to have a new vision. I'm going to have new things I'm listening in my ear. And I'm going to bring pleasantness into my life. And therefore, my reality will begin to reflect it. It's going to begin to reflect it. Have a new thought. As the mind thinketh, show self the body be. Let it be a new thought, all right? So, uh, have your new thoughts. Be your peaceful person in the world. Are you being an agent of peace? I'm going to ask you that all the time. Are you being an agent of peace? When I say are you being an agent of peace, I mean things like when things are getting conflictual or confrontational. Do you say, hey, hey, let's not argue about this. Hey, maybe we could table this to the next time. Let's, let's, go, let's go back. Let's think on it a little bit. Let's come back. When we can come back with some more solutions and not argue about it. Are you being an agent of peace in the world? Let's be an agent of peace. We can all do that. We can all shine some light. And you can all do it. We can all do it if we have some new thoughts. We have some change of thoughts. All right? So that's it for now. I just want to share that with you for this wow Wednesday. Have a wow wonderful Wednesday. And remember, have some new thoughts. All right, peace.